Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. On YouTube, uh, a user called uh, The Jetman has started a topic about uh, how reliable Simplified 3D is. And uh, he's proving a very good point there uh, that Simplified 3D isn't giving you the same result time and time again. At least for him, that was what, hap what was happening. And uh, he also discussed this in the community, uh, which was a, a big Facebook group with a lot of people who are also owning Simplify 3D, which is a paid software package, so you have to pay a lot of money for it. And, uh, well, a lot of people come to the same conclusion. And uh, if you haven't seen his video, well, I link to it uh, here in, in my video definitely check out his video because uh, it's, it's really important news that he's bringing there but now the the strange thing is that uh, he is experiencing a lot of differences in his file like for example if you take a look here then you can see uh, this is a, a screenshot from his video and you can see that there are a lot of differences in his G code and again to understand what I'm proving here, uh, you have to see his video first before you continue watching my video. Uh, but it's, it's really strange that he is having uh, he's having so much differences in his files. Now, I did the same thing. Um, I also uh, started my Simplify 3D. And to be honest, uh, I have to take a look here. Boom. Here we are in my file. So this is uh, my Simplify 3D uh, G code. And uh, well, here you can see there is a difference because there is a difference in timestamps. This file is created at 3 minutes past 10, uh, 45 seconds. This is created 4 minutes past 10, 37 seconds. Also, the difference is that I, uh, I've been closing Simplify 3D and I've restarted it again but then after I did that well here you can see all the settings are the same and then the G code starts and to be honest uh, not much of a difference here not much of a difference at all and I can continue this and I can walk you guys through it here side by side and you see my G-code is the same everywhere. Except for, and this is a funny thing, except for the complete bottom of my G-code. Only at the end of my G-code there are variations. And they're the same as what he experiences. Uh, there are some lines in uh, the first time I've sliced it, uh, which aren't there in the second time I sliced it and also there are differences no big differences but hey they are different so only in the very very ending of my G code there is something going on there that is a bit fishy and well, I don't know what the thing is but the fact is that my G code is way better than his G code and I, I also don't understand that. So this is not a conclusion. This is not uh, where I say, well, <laughs> it's his problem because my Simplify 3D isn't doing it. Because it is. My Simplify 3D is doing the same damn thing. Uh, the fact is that I don't understand why such a big part of my G-code is the same. While in his slicing, uh, there are so many differences and they start right away where the g-code starts so yeah it, it this is just my contribution to his uh, effort to find out what's going wrong uh, this is not a conclusion it's just my effort to help him and uh, well I really don't understand what is wrong with Simplify 3D uh, that differs so much from his slicing uh, to my slicing. Well, this is it. Um, I hope we'll ever find out what's wrong with Simplify 3D. 
or if there is something wrong, because maybe it's a user error, we, we still don't know it yet. So uh, we'll have to find out. Please also check uh, Dustin the Jetman, uh, his video. Uh, I'll link to it and well, you have to see it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.